AEW had their second official Dynamite show. The show took place in Boston, Massachusetts. And it started off with uh, Jim Ross, Excalibur, and uh, Tony Schiavone welcoming us to the show on uh, TNT. And uh, the Boston crowd, it was a decent crowd, you know. It, uh, they did not do the TD Garden. They did a much smaller arena at uh, Boston University. But it had you had some people there. You had uh, people who looked like they wanted to be there, you know, wrestling fans. And Boston's a good wrestling town. So we start the show off with uh, the tag team tournament. You have the Young Bucks against the private party. And my God, this was a great match up here. They, uh, they had a hell of a match. This was a lot of fun to watch. Fans were really into the show. Uh, and really into this match in particular. They had a lot of kickouts. Um, there was some crazy ass shit. I mean, God, to recap it all, there was power bombs onto the floor. They they were doing all the crazy stuff. And you uh, actually to uh, to go back actually, Young Bucks had a cool a big entrance. It was a big uh, money entrance. It was really cool. That was fun. Um, the private party got over two here, even though the Young Bucks were. Cur- cur- uh, Obviously, the bigger stars and more over the crowd because uh, the the young bucks. You had a lot of stuff here in which there would be times where I look at this match as, okay, this is an opening match of a television show. This is not the main event of your biggest show of the year. Do we need to just kill each other after everything? They're going to keep doing all these same moves every single week. And one or two things is going to happen. It's going to keep getting... Uh, it's going to get over with the fans. And then it's going to die out. It's over with the fans out before it's going to die out. Because they see this every single week. Or two... Which unfortunately I think is uh, more likely is... These guys can't do it anymore because their bodies are going to be shot and broke down. They don't need to kill each other every week. But it was uh, it was a great match up here. You can recap everything. There were so much spots that happened. Uh, the big upset was the private party. They can't, they uh, they get the win. Quinn uh, rolls up map. And he gets the win here. So they um, advance into the tournament. I, don't, I think it was also an ego thing. I don't think the Young Bucks want to put the titles on themselves first. So they get knocked off by the private party. I think the private party is probably one of the favorites to win this thing. Uh, maybe the Lucha Bros could be them. Private Party takes out Young Bucks. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely a fun matchup here. So you have uh, the fans. Uh, they went. They celebrated with the fans. And, like You basically had the smaller window of the show on while the rest was on commercial. It's kind of cool, actually. I don't mind the split screen. So we have uh, Jericho coming out. He's uh, He has his new crew. He has uh, Jake Hager. He has Sammy Guevara. And he has Santina, Santana and Ortiz. Um, he introduces himself. He uh, cuts a good promo here. He uh, officially announces as... Um, well, well, actually what happens first is he announces everyone. He announces Sammy Guevara. And he announces uh, Santana and Ortiz. And he gets a Jack Swagger. And as soon as he mentions Swagger, the fans start chanting, We the people. And then Jericho stops him and says, We the people was a stupid idea from bad creative. He puts Hager over as a badass MMA fighter. And then they announce he's uh, Jericho's inner circle. He's going to beat the shit out of Cody. He didn't like Dusty very much. And uh, he's going to drink a little bit more of the bubbly. And I guess they're already doing the Inner Circle shirts. That's already a thing now. So that's the uh, the name. You know, Jericho, uh, Hager, Santana, Ortiz, and Guevara. I guess they're known as the Inner Circle. Jamie Havoc comes out. And uh, he's facing Darby Allen. The winner faces Jericho next week for the AEW title. I think it was obvious who would here. Um, it was okay. It was not a bad matchup here. It was fine. Um, I'm not a huge Jimmy Havoc fan. It's just I don't take him seriously. He just his physique is really bad. He looks like he has the body of a 12 year old boy. I just I don't get it. Darby Allen's a talented wrestler, though. I like him. He had a good matchup with Cody, and uh, Allen gets the win here. Thank God he beats Jimmy Havoc, and uh, he will face Chris Jericho next week. Uh, and uh, we have uh, commercials. Now we we go back. We have uh, B. Prisley coming out to the ring with Emiya Sakura, uh, who is uh, the teacher of Rio. And then you have, uh, they, they announce how uh, Sakura is a legend in Japan. Next to the ring is Dr. Britt Baker. Um, and then uh, Rio, 
who comes out and Rio is very over. She gets a big pop up, pop here. So ba Baker and Rio, the he, uh, the baby faces, obviously, and uh, the other two are the heels. Good matchup here. Uh, they start the matchup with uh, some heat on uh, by the heels. Uh, Rio is very over. She gets some uh, good cross body here. Uh, she's definitely the best uh, they have. Uh, Britt Baker, I don't know if she's really... I don't see her much as a big star, to be honest. I don't know. I, I, at first, I, when I see her, you know, I think she's a complimentary uh, piece of the women's division. I don't see her as a top star. I think Rio is a lot more potential. I think it's sort of to put the belt on her instead of uh, Britt Baker. They made the better move, but they certainly the smarter thing to, uh, not to put on Nyla Rose. I look at Rio as... Uh, yeah, she's a star. She has a lot. And uh, it ends basically with... Um, Brett Baker hits a swinging net breaker, and then uh, she uh, she's in the ring, and she's uh, she has Sakura, I believe, uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, and she uh, gets her into a rings of Saturn with a mandible claw, and Sakura taps. That was a strange uh, ending, but she submits her. Her and uh, Rio get the win, and after a match, B. Presley and Emmett Baker hate each other, and B. Presley tries to attack her, and they have the female referee uh, ripping him away, and uh, Rio tries to stop it, so I guess they're, they're keeping that. There's heat there. Uh, so next, you have um, the female announcer. Uh, she interviews a whole bunch of... I forget her name. I want to know her name. That's mean. I don't know her. But uh, she announces a whole bunch of tag teams in the crowd. Orange Cassidy, she's there. Uh, the best friends are there. Uh, I believe... Uh, what's their names? Uh, SCU, they were there. So they had a whole bunch of the people there. And then uh, they... Uh, the lights go out and we see Sean Spears in a steel chair in the ramp. He comes to the ring along with Tully Blanchard. And uh, he's facing John Moxley. And uh, Moxley, strange entrance, actually. It's strange seeing him in uh, shorts. I mean, he's always you're so used to seeing John Moxley with uh, the jeans because he was in wrestling. He's with shorts now. Uh, he's still playing the crazy guy. Uh, they have a decent match up here. Moxley's second official match in AEW. Um, his match up here with Sean Spears was all right. Uh, they uh, they did some stuff here. Uh, they uh, you know it, it was not great, but I thought it was a good match up here. I thought they did the best. I don't know what's up with Sean Spears. I think if they're gonna have Tully Blanchard out every week, they can at least do something better for Sean Spears. I don't see him as the top guy. I don't think anyone really does, but we'll see what else they have for Sean Spears to uh, put him at, uh, closer to that level. Because he's being promoted a lot, but I'm not sure what else they're going to really do for him. So Moxie gets the win. After the match, you have Kenny Omega. He comes out with a two barbed wire objects. One was a barbed wire baseball bat. The second was a uh, barbed wire broom, which was funny. He throws Moxie the broom, and all of a sudden, Pac comes. He smashes Kenny Omega in the back of the head with the steel chair. Omega's down. Uh, then uh, Moxley uh, gets Pac away. He kicks him out. He's about to kill Omega with the baseball bat. He throws it to the ground and just leaves. So I guess Moxley's a face. We come to the back. Dustin Rhodes is in the ring. Adam Page comes out next. And then you have Guevara come out. And then you have uh, Jericho come out. And uh, the uh, inner circles with him. So main event, Jericho and Guevara uh, of the inner circle against Dustin Rhodes and Adam Hangman Page. Uh, good match up here. It went on for a while. Uh, uh, this is what they're going to do. I guess they're going to use a lot more tag team main events. That's what they're going to utilize. So I think it makes sense. Um, you basically have a, a good match up here. It ends with uh, uh, Dustin and Jericho as the last two. Jericho hits the Judas effect on Dustin for the three count. So Jericho and Guevara get the win. And the inner circle continues to beat down Dustin and Hangman Page. And uh, eventually what happens is um, uh, Hager, uh, uh, Page actually was fighting back. But then uh, they continue to beat him down. Cody comes out. He hits a stunner on Sammy, and he starts shouting at Jericho uh, right away. And him and Jericho fight. Um, 
And eventually, however, the inner circle comes back. They're beating down Cody. MJF comes out. It looks like MJF's going to turn heel. They're teasing him. He's going to hit Cody with a chair. Instead, he beats down the inner circle with a steel chair. Everyone uh, leaves the ring. Dustin, Cody, MJF, they all stand tall in the middle of the ring as the baby faces stand tall and the heels retreat. And uh, he said, Jericho says he's going to fight our Allen next week. And uh, he'll so he'll fight Cody at the pay per view, and uh, he will see Allen next week, bitch. That's how the show ended. Uh, good show, I enjoyed it. I thought again they're building up to stuff good. You know, it's not you know incredible. It's not blow away, but it's fine. You know, they're doing well. I enjoyed it so far. And, uh, so far again, two for two for AEW. I enjoyed uh, the show, Dynamite.